All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Welcome everybody, I'm glad to be here at Shamrock Fire Station uh, out by the mall. I have with me Sergeant Parks. Yes. And uh, when I pulled up out there, y'all were doing something. Explain that to me. We were actually simulating just in case somebody's on fire inside the vehicle, how to get them out or how to just free any uh, hazardous situation, make sure everything, everybody's safe. Right. Y'all were uh, basically tearing up some cars is yes, what sir. we're showing some of the footage <laughs> while Sergeant Parks is talking there, but uh, that's the only way to learn, isn't it? That's right, that's right. We have to do that every year just to make sure we're up to date with all any other vehicles, especially like electric vehicles yeah. or anything like that, uh, especially Teslas or any hybrid vehicles. Mm -hmm. We try to update ourselves mm -hmm. on, uh, on, on everything that we're trying to do we're trying to get people out you know, out of any situation that they're in. You know, I see more and more Teslas around Dublin. You yes, mentioned sir. that. I love that car, first of all. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, uh, but it's good you're keeping up your training because we are seeing uh, a lot of those cars around town. Yes, sir. Um, how long does it take if, if there's a, a really bad wreck? How long does it take for you to get in there? Well, like, like I said, we, we try to do our training on any situation, say if someone is up under the car or got an arm stuck or anything like that, we try our fastest way, we try to do it within two minutes, two to five minutes, that's to get someone out the car or get them from any other danger in the car, anything like that, two to five minutes at the most. Okay. Uh, but if it go beyond that, yeah. so, you know. Yeah, you're trying to get we're them trying out. to get them as quick as yeah. we can. So what about, Plus keep ourselves safe too, I'm sorry. Uh, very important, uh, <laughs> but airbags. Yes. Uh, some of the older cars uh, may not have them, but then uh, some older cars have them just in the steering wheel. That's right. The newer cars, uh, I know mine has got them in the side it's, post and mm -hmm. the door. I mean, they're yeah. all around. But, That's right. So if the airbag is not deployed and you're mm -hmm. trying to cut in there, is that a hazard? It, it, it might go off. Yes, it is. So we. On some on some vehicles or newer vehicles, they kind of tell you where the airbags at. Mm -hmm. So we try not to hit those points where they at, so we can keep ourselves safe plus the patient safe as, as well. Yeah, that's important because those airbags come out at at any at, time. <laughs> yeah, and they come out. I don't know how fast they come out, but it seems like about a hundred miles a second. Yeah, you right. know, because and that's what they're designed to keep us safe. I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of injuries from the airbag. You know. Yes messed up faces and, yes, and things like that but uh but in the end seat belts and airbags do save lives don't they? yes definitely I always wear your seat belt it doesn't matter if you go into the store if the store even less than a mile down the road because you never know what's going to happen yeah so yeah. i always wear your seat belts absolutely and you better because uh, we're filming this all around town i've seen the georgia state patrol yes. uh and they tell me they're checking for a couple of things well impaired drivers they're, they're checking if you're texting and driving or holding a telephone That's or, right. and they're looking for seat belts That's because right. we already, we know by now seat belts do save lives. They, they do. They definitely do. Uh, y'all go out on some, y'all go out on a lot of things. I yes, know, sir. uh, you go out when EMS, you go mm -hmm. out, it can be a cardiac situation. Right. Uh, you, you just don't know, but y'all go out on 
most calls in the city, don't you? Yes. Yes, we do. Most of them are in the city, but we do have a mutual aid with the county also, too, just to get us some uh, some help in the five-mile radius. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever, like, the county is not free, we can go out and help them as well, yeah. but mostly in the city. Well, and we need to do that, you That's know, right. and we live in a community. Of course, I grew up here. We've always worked together, city and county, uh, right. city manager, county manager, fire departments. Um, uh, I think it's a great thing and the citizens ought to feel good you're that's watching right. now uh, that our city and county do work together. That's right, that's right. And that's why we try to have a a, uh, a good communication with them, a good system on what we're going, the training we're doing, we try to involve them also. Right. So when we get in the situation together, we both know what to do at the same time and not get in each other's way. Yeah. So that, that make it very important for us and them and the patient. Yeah. Uh, to make every everyone safe in the, in any situation that we get in. Yeah, and I see a lot of wrecks around the town, around the county, where Arivac's got to come in, and That's I know right. y'all assist that not only there but at the hospital. But, That's right. Uh, but you're always looking for a place for that helicopter to That's land. That's correct. Aren't you? That's correct because <laughs> when the helicopter, we have to have a safe place for it to land because you don't want no power lines around. Yeah. Or anything like that because a helicopter can cause a lot yes. of danger <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of damage and everything yeah. so we have to make sure everyone's safe either even the people in the helicopter yeah. Yeah. so uh, we have to do that as well yeah a lot I don't think the citizens realize and I've learned a lot I've been doing this series lately uh, we're, we're talking to employees of the city That's of right. Dublin and uh, we're started with the fire department and I have every interview I have learned something I was with a uh, <laughs> captain um, Childry yesterday and uh, just some of the things, even after the show, I continued asking him questions. I That's said, right. what about this? What about that? So I end up, I'm calling my insurance agent to update some of <laughs> yes, the, sir. you know, things I've learned. That's and right. I hope y'all are learning That's because right. these guys, uh, this information is not only incredible stuff, but it's very educational. That's right. That's so right. I, I know you probably enjoy going out and speaking to the kids too. Oh yeah, you? most definitely. We try to do that every year. Um, just just a, a while ago, we had a truck to go out and speak to the kids or to the community, just keep them updated yeah. and keep them educated, too, with different stuff that goes on around in the city or in the world. Well, we're going to take a break and come back and we'll talk more. Stay with us. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin, Lawrence County, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Here's a big announcement from Central Georgia Primary Care. We're proud to announce the opening of our second location right here on Central Drive in East Dublin. No matter where you are, north, south, east or west, Central Georgia Primary Care has a health professional waiting to serve you. Central Georgia Primary Care, next to Paul's Tyrell Industrial Boulevard in Dublin, and now at our brand new location on Central Drive in East Dublin, right next to Thomas Auto Supply. Need an appointment? Call us at 478-202-9440. Central Georgia Primary Care, waiting to serve you at both locations, Industrial Boulevard in Dublin, and now on Central Drive in East Dublin. Welcome back, everybody. I'm continuing my conversation with Sergeant Parks. If you just join us, we'll be airing this program again or go to our YouTube channel. It's at TV 35 WDIG. You watch all of our uh, shows, all of our content. And uh, Sergeant, we have had in the last year 3.2 million people visit our YouTube channel. Yes. So a lot of people are watching TV on the go now, mm -hmm. on their iPhone, That's iPad, right. i this, i that, whatever they got. <laughs> Not necessarily these younger, well, you're a lot younger than I am, but a lot of them watch it on the go. On the go, yeah. That's so, right. <laughs> uh, uh, we've had to figure out, let them use us on the go too. Mm -hmm. So, That's right. but it's worked out well. But so, 
you're uh, you've been with the fire department how long? Uh, I've been in the fire department 18 years. Wow. Yeah. Why is it these guys don't look old enough to? <laughs> Y'all been hearing me say that. There's no way I might see some paperwork. That's right. 18 years. <laughs> Does it feel like 18? It, in a way. <laughs> some days. Maybe. Some days, yeah. Some days. Some days you have to get up with your back hurting or something like that. But you I know. Feel you. <laughs> that's why we try to keep ourselves in shape. You know. Yeah. So. In the, in the situation that we get in, we can perform. So. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and I'm telling you, that, uh, the older we get, you know, my knees hurt, my back hurts. Right. You got to keep right. moving forward. But I can't imagine uh, what y'all put y'all's bodies through oh, yeah. going into some of these structures. Right. But uh, So right. why did you pick the city of Dublin to be a fireman? Um, well, from uh, recent people that I talked to that work with the fire department mm -hmm. and it was something a long time dream I wanted to so mm -hmm. uh, that's one reason why I picked it and when I did get picked I was ecstatic you know I loved it you know I, I loved it my whole 18 years it's a great job a great place to work uh, great benefits and everything it's 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 wonderful yeah the city of Dublin uh, it is a great place to work uh, uh, the city of Dublin has over 250 employees That's right. and sergeant no matter who I talk to which department uh, water department gas department sanitation department fire department everybody loves their job That's and, right. and 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 y'all all work together good That's don't right. you yes sir we do and uh, that's why most of the time when we we get together we do stuff we we try to uh, incorporate everybody mm -hmm. and everything so they can get to know each other in the department and and just be friends because yeah. we hear a third of our lives yeah. at the fire department. So every third day we work together. So you have to get along with the people you yeah. work with. So You better. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Make it a lot easier. It's some long, well, y'all have more than days. You got a 24-hour period. We got a 24 hour period. period. That's so, right. Uh, you better be getting along yes, a lot of yes, camaraderie sir. there I know but but even other departments you go out on a, a call you may need the gas department That's water right. department sanit right. might be a tree down might That's need right. sanitation. sanitation so uh, a lot of the departments have to work together don't you? they do they do that's why with the city we try to um, we, we we get together with all the departments mm -hmm. so we can get we get to know who we working with how we gonna work with them and everything. So that's why when we do training and stuff, we try to include different departments as well. So that's how we get to know each other and what to do and how to do it in certain situations. Well, you said it was a long time dream to be a fireman. Yes, sir. Um, are you a first generation? Was anybody else in your family a fireman? First, first generation. Wow, that's, yeah. that's good. You, yeah. That's a that's a good trend to start. That's right. Uh, whether your children or nephews or nieces, mm -hmm. you said it was a long time dream. What, <laughs> little boy? How old were you? Um, I would say probably when I was in high school, maybe. Mm -hmm. So um, that's when I first, you know, thought about like, oh, that's pretty cool, and then. When the job came open, mm -hmm. I went out for it, yeah. not knowing that I was going to get it, but I was hoping yeah. the first time I did go out for it, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. And I, I was kind of devastated at the time. Up, <laughs> That's right. But I didn't give up. So probably a year or two after that, um, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that teaches us all a lesson. Uh, I know Abraham Lincoln, he ran three times for office right. and, and, and <laughs> lost three. Yeah. And then uh, he became president. Mm -hmm. So many stories, you know. Uh, success stories where people were defeated at first. That's right, and, that's right. Uh, you know, I saw a church sign a few years ago coming from Swainsboro, and it's even biblical. You fall down seven times, you get you up get eight. Up, get up eight, that's so right. you said you was in high school. Did you know somebody was a fireman? Did you, what was the reason for that? I d actually didn't know anyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I, I think my calling is, is to help people. Yeah. And with the fire department, you helping people in all different ways, and 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 um, that's one reason too why I chose it because you can help them with talking with them, you can help them with uh, saving saving their lives, or you can help them with with anything. You know what I'm saying? Any right. situation that they're in. So, the fire department is a good way to help people, and I love to help people, and um, and I and that's that's. One reason, that's another reason why I chose to do the fire department job too. I hear that from most people in the fire department. They may phrase it a different way or whatever, mm -hmm. but uh, how much they love their job. That's but right. you, you hit the key there. Uh, to do what we do, we have to, 
we should love everybody. That's you right. know, That's some right. people make it hard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. But you know, the, the word of God tells us we're to love everybody. That's right. So, uh, That's right. But having a job like this, like a nurse or uh, law enforcement, you generally love people. That's right. Uh, well, let me ask you about. Uh, you tried one time, failed, but next time you did it. What do you go through? What does it take to be a fireman in the city of Dublin? Uh, right now we have, well, we had it back then also. We had like a utility test, so we have to run a mile and a half, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, um, do a scenario, uh, climbing the ladder, truck here. We put it up in the air, 103 feet up in the air. Uh, just different stuff. Make sure that you got the strength and, and the endurance to, to do this job because you have to have that mm -hmm. because you never know what you're going to get into each and every day you work. Yep. Yes, yep. sir. No doubt about it. So going up that ladder there, <laughs> you, you better not have a fear of heights. Huh? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. why you failed the first time. <laughs> well, no, well, it was actually the running part. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, we have, uh, when I started, we have 13 minutes to run a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. People say that's not, oh, you can do that. You can do that. That's yeah. nothing. But when you're actually getting it, have to do it, yeah. it's a whole different story. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to prepare your mind and your yeah. and your body. Yeah. <laughs> you have to train it. It's easy to talk about I'm it. I'm telling you. It's another thing getting out there and doing it. And doing it. That's right. <laughs> uh, I remember when we got the ladder truck, uh, the chief then was That's so right. excited. The men were excited. We've been trying mm -hmm. to get it a long time. That's right. And uh, it has uh, saved a lot of structures. Yes. Yes. Uh, but uh, so, what do you do? Fire call comes in. What does sergeant do? Uh, the sergeant, he is the engineer of the truck. He makes sure the trucks get there. He makes sure uh, that the the personnel that's on the truck with him has the the tools and the water to either put a fire out or save people lives that's in in a car or put the car out in a fire or something like that too. Okay. So. And uh, when, what do you, do you drive the truck, ride? Drive the truck, uh -huh. I, yes sir, I drive the truck, make sure uh, everything that's on the truck is usable and ready to go in anything, anytime we have to go out. Okay, do all, uh, in the city you can tap into a hydrant if it's close yes. enough, but the trucks, do they have water in them? Yes, yes, the trucks do have water. Some of them have 500 gallons, some have 750 gallons. Uh -huh. It just depends on the truck so so you let's say a house fire how much water do you need probably to put a fire out oh it, it just lot. determines on yeah on what it is say i say we have a uh fully involved house uh, -huh. uh and we constantly spraying water it's going to take five to ten minutes just to empty that truck wow yeah yeah sometimes it, it you take a structure long. overnight that's right keep having what flare-ups or whatever y'all call it that's right uh, so, uh, well, that's interesting there. Hopefully there's a hydrant close it, by. Exactly. Or, that's right. like you said, there's other trucks can, are coming even from south side. They can. Uh, the county can bring in. That's According right. to how bad it is, y'all mm -hmm. can call in, uh, call in the cavalry, I that's guess. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, but that, is, that is so good, man. Yes, I'm going to tell you, that's a good-looking truck right oh, there yeah. behind us. Oh, yeah. Gonna, it's hard we to try look, to keep them up. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to look at the camera because this truck, to me, I just love. Yeah. I love fire trucks. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want them outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Unless you just come to visit. Yes, sir. <laughs> but none of us, anybody watching, uh, we don't want a fire, but uh, we don't know. I watched a video that uh, Captain, um, uh, one of the captains over at, the other, at Southside yes, sir. showed me about um, there was a, a, a receptacle in a house mm -hmm. went out. Over here, it starts going out. But across the room, it caused a fire. It, a fire. it was coming out of another receptacle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and 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 you just don't realize even smoking. That's uh, right. You fall asleep smoking, and that that cigarette yes, fall sir. where on the on yes, the cushion sir. or whatever. Before you know it, you may not even wake up. That's because right. Because that smoke can. The smoke. Yeah. It's, it's the smoke usually that kills people. Exactly. And, uh, and, and the them smoke. inhaling. That's right. Because yeah. that's it's dangerous gas in smoke and everything and it, it, it smothers your your airway yeah so that's how people die and they don't even know they especially when they sleep mm. you can inhale all that and don't don't have a clue that is uh yeah. so sad we've lost a lot of people we here have. in the city of dublin we so, have. and we don't want to lose any other lives so i'm going to say it again i say it early and i say it often 
have smoke detectors. If That's you right. cannot afford them, contact the fire, the fire department. department. And uh, I know Phil Patel, I throw his name out every time, right. but he donates a lot, a lot of, of uh, smoke detectors. Yes, to sir. The, and if you run out, you know, I know the chief calls him and uh, he furnishes more. That's right. Uh, That's but right. he was involved in a fire years ago. And That's right. He knows the importance mm -hmm. of them. So, and they are important. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about it, <laughs> but I don't want to lose you. I may not even know you, the people watching yeah. right now. But uh, we don't want no deaths, whether it's in the city That's of right. Dove, the county, or anywhere. That's right. Uh, when those are preventable. It is. They are preventable. We don't have to have loss of life. That's so, right. That is uh, that's so right. sad. Okay, y'all, we're going to take another break and come back and wrap things up. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard and downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Summer's right around the corner and you know what that means. It's vacation time. Here at Dublin Nissan, we can get you ready for vacation. Whether it's a new Nissan or Chevrolet or just servicing your current vehicle. And guys, if you're looking for a new fishing truck, you can't go wrong with this all new 22 Frontier. And if your needs are bigger, we got the trucks for you too. It's your choice. I know what mine is. Remember, Don sells Corvettes well. Hurry in to Dublin Chevy Nissan. The city of Dublin, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Your city to live, work, and play. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to wrap things up. Uh, Sergeant, uh, we've talked about a lot. We uh, talked about smoke detectors a while ago, but is there anything else we've missed you want to talk about? Uh, I think one thing we can talk about is uh, carbon monoxide. We call that, it's, here at the fire department, we call that, that the silent killer because you cannot smell it. You can't smell no carbon monoxide. And the thing about it, when you, especially when you have gas, in your like natural gas or anything like that, dealing with gas in your home, uh, that does put out carbon monoxide. So when you sleep or anything like that, you never know if you're inhaling any of that gas. So make sure if you have any gas or anything in your home that provides gas like your heaters or your stove or anything like that or your, um, or your hot water heaters, anything like that, make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector. Now, nowadays they have the carbon monoxide and the smoke detector together right. that you can buy either at Home Depot or Walmart, any hardware store, and thing like that. They provide that, or you can they got some you can plug into an outlet too. Wow, you I haven't seen those. Yes, sir. Wow, they have those too. Well, there's no excuse. <clears throat> uh, I know in mine I have gas logs. I bought the one from Home Depot that. Uh, uh, it does both. That's right. Uh, and it's funny, it said it was good for, the, it was a lifetime use. use. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, how does it know how old I'm going to live to? <laughs> so I asked the chief uh, last week, week before last, right. he said, James, uh, you're right. It's not going to last your life probably at, you know, I'm 62. That's right. Uh, he said, but those things, about every 10 years, you That's need right. to replace them. But That's right. anytime I see lifetime, I'm thinking, how do they know that? <laughs> You know, you you may live longer than me or vice That's right. versa. That's right. So, um, That's right. well, uh, I'm telling you, I really enjoyed y'all. You can probably tell by uh, the interviews, talking to different firemen. We've been getting different perspectives. That's right. But what I hear from all of y'all, and I've done several of these, I think you are the seventh or eighth one, but uh, uh, there's a, I see a passion in y'all. Yes, sir. Uh, in your voice and the way you talk. Uh, that, and you said it a while ago, you love what you do, don't you? That's right. I love what I do. And you can't do your job unless you love it the way, yeah. you know, to take care of people in different situations, yeah. especially going in a burning building. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to love, you have to love your job to do that. You better, because I've <laughs> so, said before, I'm running out and y'all running, running in. in. That's right. So you better love your yeah. job if you, if you go do that. Yeah. So I thank God for y'all. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But, uh, but anyway, um, uh, before we go, talk to the person watching right now, young child, teenager, young person, 
that says, man, I'd like to do that, what would you suggest to them? Well, I suggest uh, make sure you get your schoolwork, make sure you keep your body in shape, and make sure you love people. You can't hate people doing this job. <laughs> and make sure in, in any situation uh, with this job, you have to have training. Yeah. You have to train each and every week. That's why we train each and every week to make sure we have ourselves up to par to do what we have to do to get people out of danger. Mm -hmm. So just make sure uh, you're willing to do that and 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 that you love it. That's yeah, that's, that's your right. passion. You have to love you have to love uh, uh, to do that to do this job. Yeah. Yeah. You better love it and you better get in shape, baby. You better, baby. Get in shape. That's better right. run a mile and a half in 13 <laughs> minutes. 13 minutes, that's right. <laughs> You're going to make me go home and try to run a mile. I'm not going to do it. I may walk it. I love walking. You know, I can walk four or five, six miles. That's but right. Even that, I'm hurting the next day. I'm so I, I can't imagine y'all, uh, you know, we, we think mile and a half, 13 minutes, that's only about 8,000 steps, you yeah. know. So you ought to be able to do that, but yeah. then get out there and but do it. But you're not there doing it. That's, that's a <laughs> whole different step. Okay, Sergeant. Thank you so much for yes, talking sir. to us today. Yes, uh, I'm telling you, y'all, I I feel good, and you should too, man. I love our, uh, our Dublin Fire Department. Great group of guys, and you can tell by all these interviews that uh, they love what they do. Uh, and, and like Sergeant said a while ago, you gotta love what you do to run in a, right. a burning building. And, right. and they don't just run in a burning building, they're trained to do it and they That's know right. what to do. And uh, I'll just leave, uh, we've talked about the carbon monoxide and car, right. uh, smoke detectors, but uh, y'all, if you wake up and your house is on fire, literally drop down, cause those things, it rises. Right. So drop down and crawl out of that crawl house. Of That's that house. what I've learned talking to y'all, y'all. Yes, cause sir. if you just jump up and start running, it could just knock you out. That's, That's right. Can't it? That's right. It can. And the best thing, like you said, do that. Drop down, crawl out the house, crawl out a door or window or something like that, and get out. Because we, you can replace things, but you can't replace Amen. a life. Amen. So uh, it's better to do that. Drop everything. Yeah. You know. But I, we we should do that. But people, even like me, <laughs> I got things. I said, well, I need to grab that, and I need because I don't want to lose that. That's right. But. You know, even if you lose it forever, your life your cannot life cannot be replaced. You're right, man. That's right. That is so true. We're yes, gonna sir. end on those words. So so true. Uh, he's preaching to me too, y'all. <laughs> Not just y'all. So I feel like I'm at a sermon somewhere. Yeah. So, <laughs> but anyway, I love it. Uh, 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 I, I'm about to call you captain. So I, I, I give you a promotion while hey, I was here. How about yeah, that? Like you want me to come more often? <laughs> But anyway, uh, thank y'all for joining us today right here on TV 35.